Okay, now when you're hooking the truck up to the plow, this little pin right here should fit snug in this little resting place here. Okay, so the goal is to get this tube that goes through here, through this hole. So the way that this mechanics work on this is currently it's in the unlock position, but we want to put it in the lock position when we're putting it on a truck. So this should be locked, which sounds a little backwards, but in order to put the truck, attach it to the plow, it needs to be in the lock position. So the way it works is this little, this little piece of metal here keeps the pipe from going through when you hook it up to the truck, this part right here presses down on this. And then when it goes, when it pushes it down, it goes through like that and it goes through the hole. So that's how the mechanics of this works. When you're taking it off, unhook it, unlock it, I should say, and the tube goes back in. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure the joystick is on and in float mode. The way you get it in float mode is double clicking this down button twice. And once it turns red, you're in float mode. The other way of putting it in float mode is simply to press down and hold it until it turns red. Now, once it's in red and that's float mode, you can now make adjustments to the plow controls out front. Now that we've pulled the truck up to the plow, we put the pin in the lock position. Right now, currently it's in unlocked, but we want it in lock all the way up. Okay, now that we've got the pins in the lock position, we're gonna simply plug in the plow controls. And then make sure to put these caps together like that. That will keep it from snow and ice getting stuck in them in the f while they're parked. And of course we're missing one here, but so I'm gonna tuck this one away. Now that it's plugged in and we have the control and float mode, we should be able to just press this button all the way up until we hear the two pins locking. There it is. Plow is connected and you heard the pins locked on both sides. I always double check so you make sure it went through here and that you can feel it on this side. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure the joystick is on and in float mode. The way you get it in float mode is double clicking this down button twice. And once it turns red, you're in float mode. The other way of putting it in float mode is simply to press down and hold it until it turns red. Now, once it's in red and that's float mode, you can now make adjustments to the plow controls out front do is make sure that the gauge is in the unlock position so you'll swing this all the way around here to unlock so it should be in lock while you were engaged now it's unlocked now that the hooks are in the unlock position on both sides you simply press pull the switch up and then it will come all the way down because it's in the unlock position Okay, and now that the plow slid off, you can just unplug. When the, the, the plugs are off, you'll want to cover them back up like this. 